Hello everyone, in this video we will be doing the exercise number 30 for our project uh, for the engine that we will be animating a simple example to learn the basic tools on SolidWorks so because the simplicity of these parts I have made all this on, G on just one video all different bearings that it will be installed on the crankshaft and the pistons and also we will be doing the bottom part of the connecting rod so I hope you like my video okay so the first step will be go to SolidWorks click on your file select part and click OK because these two parts are exactly the same the only difference will be this cut hole of 6 mm diameter so in SolidWorks make sure you're selecting uh, the right units millimeter gram and second you can change on this arrow select right click on front plane select for new sketch and I will draw two concentric circle this one this one click on smart dimension this one is equal 29 radius that's mean 29 times 2 and this is equal to radius 31 31 times 2 because I'm working diameter right now I can draw a middle line right here and with the tool trim entities I trim this and trim this click on future option extrude and the distance is equal to 38 millimeters okay so I can save this part as a tutorial 30-1 now I can start uh, drawing the top bearing which will, will be just this cut a whole difference so I can draw a sketch on the top line right click select for new sketch right click on this sketch normal too and draw a circle right here I will draw a point on the middle of this just a reference and I select this point holding control key select the center of the circle and make as a horizontal select the center of this and the center of this and add the relation as a vertical now we know this the this circle is the center of this piece I can click on smart dimension and this diameter is equal to 6 millimeters click on future option is true cut click here on the drop down menu and oh, select the option up to surface I will select this surface right here click OK and now we have the top bearing done I can click on the arrow where it says save as so I will put a different file name I will put tutorial 30-2 now that I'm done with the top bearing and the bottom bearing I will pass to the second image which is this this is the bearing for the uh, connecting rod and the bearing for the piston okay so I will start with this one so I can go to SolidWorks I can close this one for now click on SolidWorks new file select part and click OK I will be drawing this one first so what I can see this is uh, just a just a cylinder uh, outer diameter 33 and 28 and 76 extrusion okay so I can click whatever plane I feel more confident to draw so I will just use the front plane I will draw two concentric circle make sure again because I have by default inches I will choose millimeter and 33 and 28 click on smart dimension this is equal to 33 and this is equal to 28 future extrude option and the distance is equal to 76 76 now I will apply a chamfer 
which is equal to 3 millimeters by 45 degrees. So click on this arrow, click on chamfer, and I input the value 3 millimeters by 48. I will choose this and I will choose this edge and I click OK. Now I will save this file as a tutorial 30 3. I can close this. Now click on new part, select OK. I will start drawing now this other bearing which has a cut out hole that goes through with diameter 4. Okay, so getting change the unit to millimeter and I will use the from plane again. Uh, draw to concentric circle 36 and 34. Click on Smart Dimension, this is equal to 36, internal it's equal to 34, the extrusion is equal to 33. Click on Future Extrude option, input the value 33 and click OK. Now we have a cutout hole in the middle of 4 millimeters, so I can use the top plane right here, right click on the sketch, click Normal View, select Circle. I will draw a reference midpoint right here. So I will select this point at this point and I will add the relation as a vertical. I will select this point at this point, add the relation as a horizontal. Now that I know that it's all centered, I can add the dimension as a 4 millimeter diameter. 4 millimeter diameter. Okay, so we click on future, extrude cut. And now here on the draw down menu, we select this option up to surface. I can choose this surface. Now I can put on direction to do the same up to surface and select again. So with these options of uh, both selected, we're making sure that we're making a hole go through. We click OK, and now this will be all done with this. Bearing. I will save this part as a tutorial 30-4. I'm saving all these parts because in a future tutorial we will be doing an assemble with all these parts and doing a small animation. It's going to be pretty basic and it will be part of our final uh, tutorial for the beginners. Okay, now we can close this one for now. We go again here. And this will be uh, the last piece that connect uh, with the connecting rod. So to start drawing this, I will first start extruding this part right here, which is uh, has a 33 radius and 36. So click on solid work new part, click OK. On the front plane, I can use the option for circle, but first let me pass to millimeter. So select the option for circle. This is two concentric circle right here. This is equal to 33 times 2. And the other is 36 times 2 because this is the diameter. I will pass a center line right here, center line, and I will use the option trim entities. Cut here and cut this line. I will extrude this uh, 38 millimeters. Click on Fisher extrude option 38 millimeters, and I will say from the mid plane. So it's from the mid plane. It will be 38, uh, 38 divided to 38 divided to 38. Okay, now we'll go with this part right here, which is will be extruded 18 millimeters. So I can click on front plate again.
click here and I will use the tool line this will be something like this now it goes straight right here it goes in angle and I will select onto the mirror okay in the midpoint I will do this so after I can mirror all this profile and I, I don't have to retro twice okay so I can start adding dimensions right here so this is equal to 4 this is equal to click on smart dimension this high is equal to 65 remember that I'm pressing S on my keyboard so I can make these tools appear and it's faster than if you go to this part of the menu okay so click S click on smart dimension and this height is equal to 15 millimeters this equal this side I'm sorry uh, this side is equal to 34 divided 2 and this side is equal to uh, 58 58 divided 2 now I'm missing from here to here which is equal to radius 9 so that's mean that this distance is equal to 9 I can drag to see where are the missing constraint I can make coincident this with this right here this part is coincident with this okay now it's all black that's mean that it's all constraint I can use the option mirror entities right here select this I can select this line this line and it say mirror about it will be the center line right here I click OK now to close this sketch I can convert entities this arc and now my sketch is all closed uh, the next step will be extrude this sketch 18 uh, millimeters from the mid plane so click on future extrude option select the option mid plane and input the value of 18 millimeters now we know this is radius 9 and radius 9 so I can click on fill it option input the value of 9 and select this side select this side I can select this side and select this side right click for OK this radius is equal to 2 again click on fill it this is equal to 2 millimeters this is equal to 2 millimeters this radius is equal to 6 and it goes this distance 4 millimeters so I can click make a sketch here I will draw two circle right here and one right here click on smart dimension this is equal to 6 millimeters and I know this is equal to this I'm sorry this is radius 6 that's mean the diameter is equal to 12 click on fissure extrude cut and the distance is equal to 4 millimeters the next step will be just this cutout hole which is equal to 4.5 radius so I can make sketch here and do the same draw some circles I will convert entities this arc so I can see the center point and I will make coincident this this is 4.5 times 2 equal to 9 do the same for this side convert entities right here main coincident and this is radius 9 click on fissure extrude cut and click on the drop down menu up to surface 
it will be this surface. Select contours, it will be this circle right here and this circle right here. Click OK. Before I go and I forget, uh, I just notice uh, some angles right here in chamfer. What I can see is say 2 millimeters by 45 millimeters. So I go to my piece and click on this arrow where it says chamfer and I will add the value 2 and leave the angle 45. I select this part and select this part. Click OK and now the piece as you can see it's perfectly like our shop drawings. Alright, thank you.